Hello and welcome to uh, another Talking Guitar session here at the North American Guitar Showroom in London. Today's a very special day for us because we've got our very good friend, Mr. Will McNichol. Hello, Ben. How are you doing, Will? Very good. Thanks for having me. Well, since you came in here uh, in May, I think you might be the busiest person on Facebook. I know I said that to Stuart Ryan <laughs> last time he was in here, but you've been everywhere. It's been quite busy, to be fair, yeah, since I was last here. Um, probably the most exciting thing uh, was the tour of China that I did back yeah. in September. That was a quite amazing experience. Started in Guangzhou. That's correct, yeah, starting in Guangzhou, and then we really made some proper mileage. It was kind of like gig, flight, gig, flight, gig, flight, all the way through the tour. Ended up in Beijing after doing about eight concerts spread around different cities, and it was an incredible experience. Never been to Asia before, so it was amazing from a cultural point of view, but also musically just kind of blew my mind. It's yeah, that, that first time, I, mean, I went to Guangzhou a few years ago, and that first time you go there, it is just such an incredible country. But you forget how huge China actually is. It's oh, just man, the vast. scale of the place is yeah. just mind-blowing. You know, when we were organising the tour, um, the guys were saying, oh, we're going to visit some of the smaller Chinese towns, we're kind of expecting, you know, yeah. like a little English village type yeah, yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. And they, they were like, oh, yeah, these places only have, like, you know, five or six million people. Yeah, like, yeah. Right, OK, <laughs> dealing with a completely different kind yeah, of kettle of fish yeah. here. Um, and you've just recorded, uh, or rather, you just finished recording your mm -hmm. new album, which... I know that we're all particularly excited about it because it, it was produced, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was produced by our good friend, Mr. Clive Carroll. That's it? true, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, Clive um, was very kind in his time and gave me some time in the kind, of the, kind of the structuring of the pieces and, you know, some of the interpretive elements of it, even mm -hmm. before I got in front of the microphone, which was really helpful. I bet. Um, he's a guy who really has an amazing attention to detail, yeah. and that's what I really kind of strive for in my performances and my compositions. Yeah. So yeah, it's all finished now. It's called Dragonflies, Frogs, and Bumblebees, and Great, um, it's going to be released in March of next year. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, working with someone like Clive mm. must have been very inspirational. Purely, purely, just his approach to. I mean, I remember when he did a um, he did a concert here, and it was the first time I learned this that when he writes his pieces, he mm. actually writes them in his head first, yeah. then takes them to paper, then takes it to the guitar. Yes. Uh, and that, I mean, that just blew my mind. Do you That's have great. that similar process or are you... Not quite in, on the same level as Clive, for sure, but there have been certain um, points within this album process where I have had to go to paper mm -hmm. and notate things just to work out how they all kind of like relate to one another mm -hmm. and how I can actually arrange it on the guitar. Because mm -hmm. I had some ideas in my head which I just couldn't quite figure out just by playing, like I needed to actually visualise it with dots on a page, yeah. um, which really helped and Clive kind of gave me that kind of um, inspiration to try that method. So, it's, uh, you know, I like that approach of music first, guitar second. Yeah. It's quite a refreshing way yeah. of looking at it. Incredible. Uh, and we were talking about that whole recording process and I, and I was sort of saying, you know, sort of old trading old war stories about, you know, how when I used to go and do vocals, I would, I would almost kind of you know, tense up, you don't know how much, you know, warm ups you would do or, you know, rehearsing when you came mm. into the vocal booth or, you know, into laying guitars down, you know, you, you, that kind of nervous thing. Yeah. Kind of, and you, you were saying it, it used to happen to you, but you've got a new setup now, so you kind yeah, of. Yeah, I mean, I. Feel I, your way around it. I certainly used to get quite tense in front of microphones, and one of the kind of criticisms of um, my earlier recordings, where people would see me live, really like that perhaps mm -hmm. hopefully and then kind of buy a CD and then they say the CD's great but I just like really love what you do live and I was never able to capture the kind of spontaneity and the freedom uh, I feel when I'm playing live in front mm -hmm. of the microphones because as soon as the microphone's there and the recording button gets pressed I yeah. felt like I was underneath a microscope yeah. every tiniest little thing was going to be kind of put down into the history books and I just couldn't yeah. really relax into it so over the years kind of just with a bit of practice, got a little bit kind of better at feeling relaxed. Mm. And now I have a setup good enough at home, got a little home studio setup yeah. which is good enough for recording acoustic guitar pretty well and that's what I used for this album so I have complete freedom of time to sit down. I had, uh, had some help um, with some friends of mine who were kind of recording engineers just mm. to kind of get it just right before I sat one of the microphones. And yeah, it was great. Oh, amazing. That must be such a lovely feeling to not um, have to sort of clock watch and think about the fact that that's another 50 quid or 100 quid from a studio you know exactly. just doing it in your own home yeah. in your own sort of you know environment must mm. be a lovely feeling um and so album comes out in march yes. uh, and then i take it you'll be organizing uh, some form of tour to support the album are you going to be doing that around the same time that's right yeah so the album is out on the 16th of march and mm -hmm. i'm going to be going on a little bit of a uk tour to promote that that'll mm -hmm. be announced in january um, and then I'm also back off to China again 
to promote wow. the album for a slightly longer tour because that was a thing about that first tour is it just didn't feel quite long enough to kind of yeah. really really kind of like enjoy it as much as I could do so mm-hmm. we were kind of like organising a a new kind of 15 day tour this time which I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. well there's such a great following for Fingerstar music uh, over in China in there. It's, yes it's I mean it's fantastic. exploded recently yeah. and it's incredible there's a real passion over there to mm. learn a lot as well mm. so I was giving master classes and things whilst I was over there and the, the players just amazing amazing yeah, really yeah. incredible and some very creative players over there too which is fantastic and um, yeah I'm looking forward to heading back Oh, that's so good. And uh, and today we're very excited because we've got our Cassini event this mm-hmm. evening. Mm-hmm. Uh, the boys have flown in uh, from South Africa, so we're going to be hosting the night tonight. Uh, but you're going to be doing a couple of demonstrations for us uh, at the event. But before that, we're going to get you to do some demonstrations of the guitars uh, today. So you've never played a Cassini? Never played a Cassini. Heard a lot of good things about right. them though, and I mean, obviously they look stunning. I've yeah. heard recordings, they sound stunning on recordings. I'm just really looking forward to getting my grubby mitts on them, really. <laughs> well, well, it's so great to have you in, and we are such fans of your work. You are incredibly talented, and, uh, and we'll, um, we'll absolutely be sharing your, uh, your tour dates, and uh, when the album is out, follow the links below, or we'll write a post, and we'll, we'll get it out to everybody so that you can catch Will on tour and uh, download his new album. So, to Will. Thanks, Ben. Thank you so much for, really for stopping it. in. Thanks, and for more information on, uh, on Will, his tour, uh, get in touch.